Trial times don't last. Trial times don't last, too. James also struggled in ministry. But he and the people he wrote to didn't just face criticism or stress over budgetary concerns. They faced outright persecution. James knew that in the middle of tough times, similar to the ones his readers were facing, hope was essential. Throughout the book of James, God gives us a roadmap for how to embrace a hopeful faith. I don't know what you're facing today, but you can still lean into these truths during difficult seasons. Trusting God pleases him. When you trust God in spite of not having everything figured out, you make God smile. James gives us the perfect example of this in the life of Abraham. God asked him to put up with many circumstances throughout his entire life. God called him to leave his homeland. God asked him to sacrifice his son. God constantly commanded Abraham to take big steps of faith without showing him all the details. James writes, Abraham believed God, and God accepted Abraham's faith, and that faith made him right with God. And Abraham was called God's friend James 2.23. Because of Abraham's faith, God considered him a friend. Same is true for us. When we trust God through tough times, even though we don't understand why, we become friends of God, too. I don't know what you're going through right now. But I know it doesn't compare to what God has in store for you in heaven. The Bible tells us that nothing on earth compares to it. Hope isn't just wishful thinking. That's not what you need right now. You need the overwhelming conviction that God will do what he says he will do. You can depend upon that. Music